Hey y'all, this is Zach with Mills Under Pressure. All right, tonight I'm gonna make a recipe that I've been wanting to put to video for a while now. I'm gonna make a super easy chili recipe. And this is not an authentic Texas chili or a no bean chili. This is the kind of chili you make when you've been working all day and you get home and you're tired, but you still have to put food on the table for your family and pretty inexpensive chili. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. So let me show you what we got. We're gonna start off with some lean ground beef. This is about a pound, a little over a pound of lean ground beef. I've got one of the larger cans of diced tomatoes. I've got a packet of chili powder, two cans of these light red kidney beans, and I'm going to kick it up just a notch. So I'm going to use a can of these, uh, this mild Rotel. You don't have to use this, but it's going to kind of kick it up a little bit. So now I'm gonna, I like to get a, get a good brown on my beef. So I'm going to show you how to do that when we come back. See you in a minute. All right, so I've turned my saute function on and I added about a tablespoon of oil. All right, this is how I get a really good brown to my, my beef. Uh, first, you gotta start with a lean cut beef or lean beef. This is a 93.7. Um, so once this gets hot, once your oil gets hot, take it. Leave that for five minutes. Let it brown for five minutes. You want that whole flat surface browning for five minutes. When five minutes is up, you flip it the other flat surface for another five minutes so we're gonna let that brown and then we'll be back to show you the rest of the recipe all right so let it brown the meat brown five minutes per side and then i kind of you know just chopped it up kind of scraped the bottom making sure it's kind of deglazed there's not a lot of fat in here that's why you need to go with, with a good lean ground beef all right so turn my saute function off add my can of diced tomatoes and my can of rotel now I've got this little packet of this. Now I use mild, you can use hot if you want, but this is chili, chili seasoning. And last, my two cans of beans that I have drained and rinsed. Get that mixed in good. Again, real simple, real easy chili recipe. It feeds a good amount of people. Take the top on, take the top. Make sure it's set to the seal position. Come hit the manual button or pressure cook, whatever your model says. And we're going to bring it down to just five minutes. All right, we got it down to five minutes. We're going to drink a little bit while we wait. And we'll see y'all when it, when it gets done. All right, so we cooked it for five minutes under pressure. We did a quick release. Folks, that's some decent chili right there. Again, this is not your authentic Texas chili. This is the chili you make when you're tired, when you get off work, throw a few ingredients in there, cook, feed your family. Um, you can top it with cheese, sour cream, chips, whatever you got, but uh, we're gonna get down to eating. So we will see y'all next time.